This is the Gig Lab. The doctor is in. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ and you're in the Gig Lab. And we've set up a little light show for you today. These are made up of Slimpar Hex 6 IRCs up the trust and a couple here on the desk because we wanted to show you how we're controlling them. And we're doing that in a very unique way with a unique controller called the Foot C. This is a, a DMX controller that you can control with your feet, which is great for acts like bands on stage that still want to control their lights but have their hands full with instruments and other things. So this is a unique way to be able to control lights in that situation. It's been very popular among bands and other musicians and entertainers, but there's also been some questions. So to clear some of that up, we wanted to bring in our resident expert, Chauvet DJ product manager, David Gooch. Gooch, welcome. Hey, how's it going? All right, how are you? Good. So, tell us what this thing is. It is a controller, just like the Obey 6, but you can use it with your feet. So this is perfect for things like bands, like we were talking Absolutely. about Absolutely. This is exactly who that's for. So, the Obey 6 to compare it to is easy to control, basically. It's yes. a six-channel controller, and I'm assuming for somebody that has got their mind on other things like instruments, that this also must be easy to use. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, so you take it out of the box, you put it on stage, you plug it in. What's the first thing you do to get this thing up and running? Well, first thing we got to do is program it, because unlike some of the other controllers, it does not come pre-programmed. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get into program mode. We get into program mode by pressing and holding the program button for three seconds. That makes sense. And then we select the scene that we want to change. So in this case, let's go to one. So the up and down buttons scroll through the different scenes here. That's correct. Okay. So let's make this guy, like the other ones, red. So we're going to select that one, mm -hmm. and then we're going to change the color. And we're going to bring up the one we want. Then the next thing is we need to save it. And we do that by pressing program once. It blinks. And we know it's been saved. Now that that's been done, we like our looks. We can now press and hold program again to get out of it. And once it scrolls through again, it is now taken effect. Excellent. So I can see here that the colors available to control are just like a six channel. It, red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. Correct. OK. Now, it, you're not limited to just these fixtures as they are now, red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. Because it shows you the DMX value, you can use this with other fixtures. Okay, so color mixing is possible. Absolutely. And so that means your, your color choices are infinite at that point. Of course. So, one of the things that I think would be of great interest to, to a band on stage or anybody on stage is to be able to have the lights react to the music. Yes. In most fixtures, that would be through sound activation mode. What about this one? Well, we do have sound activation mode on this. Uh, your sound sensitivity is located here in the corner, and you can change that. But another really cool feature is we have tap sync. And we activate tap sync by pressing and holding the mode button and TT tapsy. Now, once we're in that mode, all we have to do is press this several times to the beat of the music, and you're good to go. Excellent. So it really is just like a, a tap metronome type yes. of action. Absolutely. You do that a few times, and it's set. Correct. And now, let's say you're at the end of the song, and you need it to black out. You're going to press and hold this one, and everything goes out. Now, once you're in blackout mode, and you want your lights to return, you're going to press and hold the blackout button again, and your lights return. Now, if I wanted to control this wirelessly, what would I do? You would just grab a DeFi hub or a FlareCon or anything like that that puts out your DeFi mm -hmm. signal. And you can go to fixtures that are DeFi capable. Excellent. Or Freedoms. Or Freedoms. Any other transceiver. Or any other fixture that has the new USB sticks. Excellent. So, and that, that just right in the DMX out jack, just like any other thing. Like any other fixture. And I can see that this thing is really rugged and sturdy. I mean, the housing is, is thick and the buttons are really heavy duty. Yeah, that's why we went with buttons that you see on any other controller for like a guitar player. Yeah, because people are pounding on them with their feet. Yeah, they get used a lot. Absolutely. Now, what if you want to change the speed of your light show? Okay, well, we can use what we're using here for an example. Let's say we want to speed it up. The first thing we're going to do is go in here where it says speed, okay? And then we're just going to use the up button to get the desired speed we want and then hit enter. And that's as simple as that. That really is simple. Yes. So again, just kind of reviewing in our brains, to boil this down to the simplest terms that we can, 
What is sort of the structure of how this thing operates? So you, you, go, you first have to go into a mode, and then you have to select the value in that mode, and then hit enter. Uh, so Correct. Explain that to us one more time. Your first step is you want to get into program mode. And you're going to do that by pressing and holding the program button for three seconds. Once you're into program mode, you then select the scene that you want to change or create. Make your change. Press program once. You'll see everything flash then press her up or down again to the next scene that you want to change. And you keep doing that until you get all the looks that you want. Once you're completed, you press and hold program again for three seconds, and that is it. And that stores it. And that's it. And these controls here are just like a standard hardware DMX controller. Those yeah. are your fixtures. Correct. Just like any of our other Obey fixtures, these are your fixture select buttons. Excellent. Well, Gooch, that has been a huge help, and I hope it's been a help to you, too, because this is a great controller to have on stage if you've got your hands full. And it's not just bands, it's DJs, too, but really it is designed for people that really are used to using their feet to control things, and certainly that goes into the category of guitar players. So if you have any other questions, of course, contact us, and we'll be happy to get you to the right people and answer those questions, because this is something that we want to put in your hands, or rather, I should say, under your feet. So as always, Gooch, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ, and we'll see you right here next time in the Gig Lab.